Welcome to Gold Coast Australia. These are the top five things to eat in Gold Coast. What's good? In no particular order, coming at number one is Hurricane Krills. You must try the ribs there. The vibe is right. You get a beach view table as well. And it is so wonderful in there. You get some yummy drinks and it is such a fun place to take the boys out or even go there as a family. And it isn't on the cheap side, but you'll probably find that with most things here in Gold Coast because this is Australian tourism, baby. But as you can see, some of the seafood options there are also off the hook as well. It looks better. It looks just as good as it tastes. That's right. So if you're looking at this and you're getting hungry, you probably should be because it tastes just as good as you see it. And one of the best thing about Hurricane Grills is that after you're done there, you're right in the middle of the hustle and bustle of Gold Coast. So do go out and check out all the street activities and get yourself an ice cream from Ben and Jerry's across the road because that's going to be an awesome bookend to your evening. Don't forget to go check out Hurricane Grills when you go to Gold Coast. Coming in at number two is Longboard's $150 table price for anybody who can finish that massive burger by yourself and you got to finish them chips as well, guys. And of course, uh, it is way too big. So if you're wanting to have a good holiday where you're not sick from day one i don't suggest that you take on that challenge like seriously don't even try it 150 dollars i mean if, if i mean it's not even going to contribute that much to your trip in gold coast because everything is really expensive there anyway and so don't even bother guys just go there enjoy the burger it is actually genuinely a really delicious burger it's very rich in flavor i'd say that that burger is probably fit for around more like four people at the same time there was only three of us eating there that day and of course that's probably the reason why we've taken away a big portion and we ate that for the next couple of days as well. So if you are a big eater and there's four of you, then I'll probably order one of these. For 69 bucks, it's pretty damn cheap between the four of you kids. But overall, whether it's for the challenge you want to go there or for generally good vibes and some good burger, then I suggest that you go and check out Longboard, get yourself that burger because it'll be an experience and a half. Coming in at number three is if you're feeling bougie as hell and you've got some cash to blow, Versace Seafood Buffet is the place y'all want to be. The range of seafood that you're going to get is out of this world. There's going to be salmon. There's going to be, what are those bug thingies? You know, seafood bugs. I, I'm not very good with seafood. But you eat with your eyes as much as you eat with your mouth. That is definitely what that place is good for, as well as tasting really, really good as well. You get your lobster options as well, crabs, and you get a large array of shellfish salads. And of course, the dessert is out of this world. And make sure you take lots and lots of bougie-ass photos when you actually jump into the chandelier and the main lobby, because it is otherwise a wonderful hotel. And if you can afford to, stay there. Why not? It's fun. All right, coming at number four is Bumble's Cafe, a very nice, vibey, chill, loungy, brand breakfast cafe uh, maybe up until brunch as well there are some really really delicious food options there so go and check it out have a walk around the cafe because you are going to be impressed with how much effort they have put in to make that cafe feel less like a cafe but more like a home it has definitely got good vibes so go and check that out and that would kick you off on a really really good start to a day because everything there is going to be perfect to your muse and your palate and your general mood i'm running out of things to say moving forward Forward is number five at the glass house again if you're feeling bougie at the marina pier is where you're gonna come to encounter glass house is the seafood platter right yeah it's so delicious it was the best it is so rich and it is massive so if you've got a good group of friends with you there's lots of good food to share and that strawberry mocktail is to die for it is super yummers so go and check that out at the glass house not the best lit but pretty vibey photos as you can see right there and it will be lots of fun the kitchen is open kitchen so you get to see a lot of the hustle and bustle when everyone in there seemed really really happy as well which i thought was really cool so go check out the glass house guys at the marina pier it is very very delicious and a wonderful experience again not the cheapest but it is definitely worth the investment. Overall, what I like about all of these food experiences is that within Gold Coast, all of these options are very close to each other and it comes highly recommended, guys. It is definitely a fun time. It will definitely put some really good flavor into your holiday if you do holiday in Gold Coast and make sure you check out each and all of them and explore all the different taste buds that you might have and enjoy the food of the Yum Yums category. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. This is your boy, HDK. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.